Hello everyone and welcome to today's Grace's Dreams workshop. In today's workshop we're going to make our very own polar bear masks just like this one. Now if you would like to make your very own polar bear mask the materials you will need is one paper plate, some glue, one black pen, one pencil, some scissors, some string, and some cotton wool. Now, while we're waiting for your play specialist to get that, we will start with today's story, which is Big Bear, Little Bear, all about polar bears too. Big Bear, Little Bear. One bright cold morning, Little Bear helped Mother Bear scoop snow out of their ice den. This will make more room for you to play, said Mother Bear. You're getting bigger now. I want to be as big as you when I'm grown up, said Little Bear. He stretched up his arms and made himself as big as he could. Mother Bear stretched to the sky. You'll have to eat and eat to be as big as I am, she said. When I'm big, I'll wrestle you in the snow, said Little Bear. Wrestling in the snow was his favourite game. You're not big enough to wrestle me yet, said Mother Bear, laughing. <laughs> she rolled Little Bear over and over in the soft snow and Little Bear giggled. Little Bear shook the snow from his fur. When I'm grown up, I want to run as fast as you, Mummy, he said. You'll, you'll have to practice if you want to be as fast as I am, said Mother Bear. Little Bear darted away and ran as fast as he could. But his mother soon caught up with him. Run faster, she called. I can't, said Little Bear. I'm not grown up yet. I'll show you what it's like to be grown up, said Mother Bear. Climb on my shoulders. When Little Bear stood on his mother's shoulders, he could see to the end of the world. And when he reached up his hands, he could nearly touch the sky. Now you are big, said Mother Bear. And he's all the way up on his mother's shoulders. Let's run, cried Mother Bear. And she ran faster and faster. Little Bear felt the wind rushing against his face and blowing his ears back. This is how I'll run when I'm grown up, he shouted. Suddenly, Mother Bear leapt into the air. Little Bear saw the world rushing under him. I'm flying like a bird, he shouted. Then he saw where they were going to land. Splash! Mother Bear dived into the cold water and swam along with Little Bear on her back. This is how you'll swim when you're grown up, she said. Let me swim in the sea. Little Bear watched his mother carefully so he would know what to do next time. I'll soon be able to swim like that, he told himself. Mother Bear climbed out of the water with Little Bear still clinging tightly to her back. Will I really be as big as you when I'm grown up? Asked Little Bear. <laughs> yes, you will, said his mother. But I don't want you to grow up yet. Why not? Asked Little Bear. You won't be able to sit on my shoulders when you're grown up, said Mother Bear. And she carried Little Bear back to their snow den. <gasps> Little Bear was tired after wrestling, running, flying and swimming. You can still cuddle me when I'm grown up, he said sleepily. But mummy, he whispered, I don't want to grow up yet. <laughs> That's good, said Mother Bear, holding him close, because 
you're perfect, just the way you are. Little Bear snuggled into his mother's soft fur and they went to sleep together in their cosy den in the snow. And look, ah, all nice and cosy. And that's the end. Now we will make our polar bear masks. So first of all, we're going to get our paper plate. We're gonna get our glue stick and use it a template to draw around to make our eye holes. So like that. So that's one. And then to make another one. Okay, two eye holes. Secondly, we're going to use our pencil and we're going to make a hole in the side of our plate, like that. And on the other side, this is going to be our holes to put our string through. You can get a bit tough, like that. So we've got two holes to put our string through. Once we have done that, we're going to ask an adult to help us to cut out our eye holes. Usually I would start by making a hole. and then cut him round to make our eye holes. Okay, and we'll do the same with the other one. It doesn't matter if they're not completely circular because our cotton wool will cover that up. Our second hole. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and cut around the jaggedy parts so it's more smoother. There we go, now we have our eye holes. Once you've got your eye holes, now you need to get your cotton wool, so it can be as balls, or like what I've got, and you need to start to rip it up into segments. So if you don't, if you have as cotton wool balls, that would be best. But I don't have that, so I'm gonna cut mine up, put some glue on, like that. And the best thing probably for this one is to put the glue on the plate. So I'm going to glue the plate, put loads of glue on my plate. I'm going to cover it with loads of glue. So make sure you put loads of glue on so it makes it really, really sticky. So I've put loads of glue on to make mine really, really sticky. And then I'm going to start to stick down my cotton wool. Because I've done it like that. You get loads of pieces of cotton wool and stick it down onto your plate. Now it can make your hands a bit sticky and woolly from the glue, but it doesn't matter about that for now. We can wash our hands after. to cotton wool but make room for the eyes remember not to fill up the eyes because we need to be able to see out of our mask so here's some more cotton wool there and some more here and I'm going to go around the edges of it to make even more make it even more woolly Sticking it all down, pressing hard so it actually sticks down. I'm going to 
going to get more. Making sure you make a space there for your hole for your string. So let's not cover that up. Now with my top cotton wool, I am going to make something that looks a bit like an ear shape at the top, like that. And I'm going to do the same with this one. A bit like an ear shape for our bear's ears. Now when you think you've got enough cotton wool on, it's time to put the string through the holes. So you turn it over. Just try and put the string through the hole that you've made. And then tie it round the side so it stays put. Like that. And I'm going to do the same with our other hole. Put the pencil through so I know where my hole is. I'm going to put the string through like that. And make a knot so then we can use it to put our mask on so now I'm gonna continue with my top bit up here it needs a bit more glue so I'm gonna just glue put a bit more glue there and then fill in any gaps that still need to be filled in with your cotton wool So I've got little bits here that still need to be filled in. So now that I've put the string through, I can fill them in and you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to put some more glue on the side here and put some more through here. There we go. Loads of cotton wool. Now, we're going to make a little bit of a nose so you can move it along a bit and we are going to draw that on with a marker so if you have a black marker that would be the best colour to use to draw it on so I'm going to use my black marker and I'm going to make a nose it's quite hard to draw on the cotton wool bud so it's better to just sort of dab it comes apart a bit so I'm just going to keep dabbing my pen so I can get the colour that I want there we go so I've made my nose And then for the mouth, it's a little bit more harder, so you're going to have to keep dabbing to make the shape that you want as your mouth. Now, there's loads of different ways to draw mouths, but I'm just going to do a nice smiley face. I'm just going to keep dabbing along to make a nice smiley face. Like that. And there you have it. We have our polar bear mask. There's our little ears. And we can colour in the inside bits of the ears as well if you would like to. With your pen, just dab it in and colour it in to make it look like ears. of our ears and that is how you make a polar bear mask well done everyone